Good morning, good morning one and all. Welcome to Haiku Friday, November 27th, 2020. Um, it's correct, November 27th. Hey, happy Thanksgiving, everyone. I hope you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving. I hope, uh, I hope your Thanksgiving continues. I have decided to uh, celebrate Thanksgiving the entire four days. Now, um, then I realize I'm retired and every day is Thanksgiving to me, which is great. Thank you to my union. That's what I give thanks for. People gathering together to think of other people in the future to be to hope that their lives are better. Isn't that a good thing? Hopefully we can all look back on it and say we did the same. I, I did a little bit, but I'm going to do more. All right. Hey, let's get started with some haikus, shall we? We have, you know, if you remember last week, Ericus, uh, I had read some of his that he had sent the week before and I missed because I'm not used to getting uh, submissions, which I uh, I should be. Everybody should be going to haikufriday.com and sending in their, their haikus. They're easy to do, 575, five, and a total non-judgmental setting of um, haiku reading. All right, here we go. First one from Ericus. Fan blades overhead. Vigil for a dying dog. Sleepless, fitful night. Hmm. I'm sorry, Ericus. It sounds terrible. I hope your dog passed and it was a beautiful thing. Unless that was a metaphor for something. And then in that case, I hope uh, your metaphor worked. Okay, second one for from Ericus. Prime seats down the line. With my cardboard self, I sit. Game of a lifetime. Ooh, that is terribly mysterious. I, I love it. So, thank you, sir. A third one from Ericus. Incipient Oak. Testament to God's grandeur. Life from acorn born. Now, I don't know if I said grandeur, right? I think I haven't said that word in a long time. Uh, I hope I did. Yes, thank you for that, Ericus. And that's true in all of our lives. We all plant those acorn seeds, right? And see what grows from them. All right, we have a couple from our pal Steen. Little red hen, or just a big gray rooster. We all make choices. <laughs> yes, yes, we do. Yes, we do. And sometimes the choice, we don't have a choice, right? We have a, we, we can figure out what we're going to do with the facts. And that is a choice. You know, I don't want to get off on my truth. I don't want to get off on my truth lecturing right now, okay? But uh, anyhow, that's a good point, Steen. As always, you make me laugh. All right, second one from Steen. So glad that's over. I'm going, I'm gonna start over because I'm starting to laugh. This one's funny too. Uh, so glad that's over. I'm gonna buy the maskless ass hats for Christmas. Yes, get the maskless ass hats. And, you know, for really, they're just not for the holidays anymore. All right. <laughs> All right, Steen, enjoy. Hey, enjoy the Christmas season at work. That ought to be pretty fun if people were uh, behaving as such at Thanksgiving. Christmas is going to be even better. So enjoy. Please, please enjoy. <laughs> All right. Here's one from our pal Rico-san. Gone for the season, what lies beneath the surface lives to rise again. Now, Rikosan has a farm, so I think he may be talking about that. But I don't know if you read about these minks that they buried in shallow graves. Was it in Sweden, I think, or someplace in the Netherlands, I believe? And, uh, or in the Netherlands, in, in that region. 
in that region, that whole Scandinavian region I'm talking about, they had, uh, they buried because they thought that they were, could be carriers of COVID. So they killed their entire mink population, which is kind of sad to think about anyways. And then apparently they buried them too shallow. So they're coming, they're rising from their graves when the tide comes in. They're, they rise from their graves and uh, they float around and they're contaminating the water supply with um, dead minks. You know, what goes around comes around, doesn't it? You know? Uh, all right. Thanks, Rico-san. Oh, this is mine. You know, I was in an unusual, in an unusual uplifting uh, mood, which is not really my thing. You know, usually mine are kind of down. But I, I don't know. For some reason... I feel some hope. It could be the tryptophan from the turkey still coursing through my veins or the pecan pie, pumpkin pie, side by side for breakfast that I had this morning. Ooh, so good. So freaking good. Okay, I got a message there. Hi, Brett. Happy day to you too. And happy Easter, right? Or happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Here's mine. I better just shut up and read it. Read it, then shut up. All share this life now. Oddly, we have this in common. Something to build on? Now, that was uncharacter uncharacteristically. Um, <laughs> my sister Julie writes, yes, pie for breakfast. Yes, uh-huh. Yeah, that was good, too. Mm, nom, 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 nom. I don't know. Can you guys read the comments when those come in? I don't know. From other people? I bet you can. Uh, yes. Uh, let's see. It has been an odd year. Yes, Bobby, it has been an odd year. It has. I mean, give it that. You know, what really I, it gets me, though, is people saying, uh, oh, I can barely wait for 2020 to be over. Has anybody considered that this could just be the warm-up act? Huh? I mean, this could be uh, just 2020, maybe just like, you know, we're kind of doing a little stretching before the big event of 2021 or 2023. You know, we don't know. So, uh, yeah, it has been an odd year. The year of the rat, the year I was born in. Go figure. All right. Um, okay, so that's it for Haiku Friday. Uh, I'm in a giddy mood. I think the pecan... My oh God, I love pecan pie. I mean, it is the best. At the Odessa Deutsches Fest, they call it... Um, <laughs> they call it Washington Nut Pie, I think. I don't know. Okay, well, thanks for tuning in, everybody. Uh <laughs> Some great comments from Bobby and Julie down at the bottom there. Okay, thanks, you guys. Uh, Brett, thank you for your comments, too. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for tuning in to Haiku Friday. Remember, haiku is so easy to do. Five syllables. Let's see. Five syllables. That's four now. Five syllables now. That's the first line of a haiku. And then you just do seven syllables, then five syllables. And like I said, man, it's it doesn't get any more non-judgmental than this. I invite you into my pigsty studio. Uh, I uh, have not taken a shower. Uh, so who am I to judge? I won't judge. I just appreciate your haikus. And I love you guys. Have a happy Thanksgiving. And I will talk with you soon. Bye.